Uh, the main thing was I just believe in Coach Freeman and I just believe in the whole team. Like we can actually win a national championship. And I believe that we can actually do that. And the best thing, just best of both worlds, I can come back, develop as a defensive player, not just as a pass rusher, but as an all around defensive player. But I feel like this team could really win a national championship. That's the main reason why I came back. And it did surprise us. It surprised that uh, he left, but he did mention it, mention it like around Tuesday. It was like three or four days before he left that it was a possibility that he would leave, but it's not guaranteed. But like when he officially announced, it wasn't a surprise since we felt like it was going to happen. But I'm always like happy. I'm happy for him that he's going to Michigan. And it's just like a fresh new start, but I'm always happy for him. He's my guy. Uh, he was the first guy when Coach Kelly left that I, I wanted Coach Freeman to be head coach. But that's my guy. We the whole defense of uh, all the players Ray had like a really good relationship with him since he was like defense coordinator. Who became uh, the um, uh, head coach? But all defense players were on board with him being head coach. But Coach Freeman, he's my guy. He's a real players coach, and I love him. I'm just excited where he can bring this team. I already know bringing in a lot more coaching staffs, hiring more and more people. We don't know who our uh, D line coach or defensive coordinator is, but the people that he's bringing in, like. Uh, Coach Mason coming in. He's building more and more people to make a national title ship run. Yeah, I do feel that way. Leaving that game, I just felt like I had to come back. I can't leave Notre Dame, leave my Notre Dame experience off of like, a bad note, even though, yeah, that was a pretty bad game to end off on. But I can't leave Notre Dame with that bad taste in my mouth. So I had to come back and make another run at it. But we're going to uh, uh, prepare our butts off the whole week, going to Ohio State. But everyone has a chip on the shoulder. It's on the shoulder. Coach Freeman, especially since he, I'm an alumni from there. And I, we, we're just going to compare, uh, prepare our butts off for that game. We, we already know it's going to be a big game that we're going to have to prepare a lot for, just bring our best game for it. Oh, it's been great, man. Coming from Chicago, it's, I'm, it's just cold a little bit, but that's not, nothing I'm uh, not used to. Uh, getting to know these guys, getting to meet everyone, meet everyone in the Notre Dame uh, community has been great. It's been a great few weeks. Yeah, I came to Notre Dame to maximize my potential. I think joining a defense, an elite defense like this, uh, having a piece like me that is returning, they're returning 18 starters and losing a guy like Kyle. So I think a guy like me stepping in and, uh, and filling in the piece of the puzzle is exactly what we need to take uh, this place to the next level. Oh, a huge factor. The night I entered the portal, or the day I entered the portal, I was on the phone with Coach Freeman that night. And... Uh, like I said, he told me that they're returning 18, and uh, I see that they're the number five team in the country, so I'm so excited to join. Coach Freeman has been great uh, to me since I've been here. Yeah, as of now, I'm wearing number 16, so it's looking like. 16's been my number since high school. I wore it sophomore year, and it's stuck to me. It's been treating me pretty nice ever yeah, since then. It's a good number. I mean, I'll tell you the fun story behind it. I was in high school and joined uh, varsity kind of late my sophomore year, and they only gave me a few numbers left. I was originally number one before. Um, and then 16 was kind of the last number left. I stuck with it, and I was able to get it again in college, and it just treated me pretty nice. I had to stay. I consider myself a leader in whatever room, whatever environment I'm in. Um, I'm a ball hawking safety. When I'm in, when I'm on the back end, I believe that my abilities shine, and I can I can cover, and I can be one of the best players out on that field at all times. That's my mindset, and I think that um, my goal is to stay calm and collective at all times, and just be able to be the best player I can for my teammates.